is Makia James and I'm a training manager with Firestone. Today I'm here with Brad Harris who is a field engineer for Firestone. We are going to walk you through the six step process to setting up your tractor. Brad, can you tell us how to set up our tractor? Yes I can Makia and what we're doing is like you stated, following the six steps to proper tractor setup. The first step is to identify the horsepower and the type of tractor we're working with. Today we're working with a mechanical front wheel drive tractor that has okay. 165 PTO horsepower. Okay. Once we know that the power range, we can figure out the theoretical weight of that tractor. For a mechanical front wheel drive tractor, we want it to weigh 130 pounds per PTO horsepower. Okay. So with this example, we would take 165 times 130 and get a theoretical tractor weight of just over 21,000 pounds. Okay. Once we know what that weight should be for the whole tractor, now we need to determine where the weight should be placed. Since this tractor is used in draw bar pull, mm -hmm. we want 35% of the weight on the front axle and we want 65% of the weight on the rear axle. So doing the math, taking that 21,000 times 35% we want around 7,500 pounds on the front axle and the balance of that weight on the rear axle. Okay. Now that we know what the tractor should weigh, we'll physically weigh the tractor and determine if we need to add or subtract any weights from the machine. That sounds good. Let's go weigh the tractor. So Brad, how do we get started? So what we're going to do is use some portable scales to get the axle weights. We're going to set the scales on the ground and drive the front tires over the scales to record the weight. We've okay. got some six by sixes here so that we can make sure that we get that tire completely off the ground so that we can properly record the weight. Okay. After we get the front weight, we're going to drive forward, drive the rear tires over that scale and record the rear axle weight. And then after we've got both of those numbers, compare them to what the theoretical weight split should be. Well, let's weigh the tractor. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place the scales behind the front tires. Once we get them placed, we'll set the six by sixes on top of the scale so that the tires can ride up on those. Okay. We place the six by sixes so that uh, We've got a little bit of a ramp for the tires to drive up onto, but still gets placed on the pad itself. Okay, awesome. After we've done the left and the right side of the tractor, we'll turn the scales on, and then we'll back the tractor onto it. We do have our handheld here that will display the, the picture, or the, the weights, mm -hmm. uh, so that we don't have to crawl underneath the tractor to get those. All right, Brad, so our front axle weight is 9,150 pounds. All right, I'm going to record that on the pad of paper, 9,150 pounds. Okay. Now we will take and drive forward and get the rear axle and tires on the scale and record that axle weight. Okay, let's do it. So... Our rear axle weight is 12,800 pounds. 12,800 pounds on the rear. Mm -hmm. So now that we have the front weight and the rear weight, let's compare that to the theoretical weight that we did back in step three. In step three, we said the front axle should be 7,500 pounds, okay. and we weighed 9,150 pounds. Okay. So we're heavy on the front axle. Mm -hmm. On the rear axle, we wanted it to be 13,940 pounds, but when we weighed it, we were at 12,800. So this tractor is heavy on the front, light on the rear. Mm -hmm. So now let's walk around the tractor to see if we can move weight from the front of the tractor to the rear of the tractor. With this tractor, we've got six front suitcase weights. Okay. Since our front axle is heavy, we can remove these six weights to make it lighter. Okay. After we've removed these weights, we will reweigh the tractor to get the final tractor axle weights to help us set our inflation pressures correctly. Now we're ready. 
Yes, we are, Mikia. After removing the six front suitcase weights, we've mm -hmm. re-weighed the tractor. We found that our front axle weighed 8,000 pounds and our rear axle was 13,000 pounds. Going to firestoneag.com, mm -hmm. we've got an inflation calculator there where mm -hmm. you can type in what tire size you have, Okay. what the axle weight is, and hit calculate, and it'll tell us what our minimum inflation pressure is for the front axle, mm -hmm. and then we come back and we re-input the information on what tire size is on the rear. Okay. What our axle weight is, and again, it'll tell us what our minimum inflation pressure is for those rear tires. All right. Well, thank you so much, Brad. And again, for more information on proper tractor setup, you can check FirestoneAg.com. Thank you.